everybody, it's Greg the Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be hopping into everybody's favorite long-running Hoi series, Hoi A to Z. Yeah, and if I'm checking my roster here, moving down the alphabet, we have a nation that, uh, well, I don't know how many of you have actually ever played. Uh, you probably just click off the notification regarding this nation early in 36, and that's the end of it. But this nation was the first nation added by Paradox into the game since the base game dropped, and it was added in By Blood Alone DLC. I, of course, am talking about the Sultanate Ausa. And uh, yeah, they usually just get gobbled up by the Italians uh, in the Ethiopian War. But uh, let me tell you, uh, what if I was to say that we can actually take the uh, Sultanate of Ausa from an East African backwater uh, into a superpower, turn them into the desert chads that they are, and get some revenge on the Italians? Well, that and much more in today's episode. All right, well, here we are. Ah, uh, the Sultanate of Ausa. Tiny little micro nation in East Africa here. Uh, you can see that we're led by a rich sultan. Uh, we get some political power gain, uh, consumer goods uh, 10%, and a factory output of 5%. Uh, you'll notice that we also have warriors skilled in desert warfare. Uh, so this is pretty good. So a regular infantry is effectively kind of like militia. Uh, well, I mean, it is militia, and uh, apparently we're really, really good at it. So, but we're going to take these stats and move them to a 10. Um, so, it's going to get a lot spicier. So, first of all, um, the Italians are already at war with the Ethiopians, and they're going to be knocking on our doorstep here pretty soon. So, we're going to need to get ready for them. So, let's go ahead, and uh, you can see that with Hausa uh, as a new nation added, we even got a little focus tree, which is pretty cool. Um, we've got some industry here some armed forces and some political stuff including uh possibly to uh unify all of east africa under our reign so pretty cool stuff here so first of all what we want to do um is go ahead and pick up the afar armed forces here it's going to give us some army xp and we're going to go ahead and work our way down and try to strengthen our regulars because uh yeah the italians are coming and we're going to need to defend ourselves with something and speaking of defending ourselves, we do have four irregular units uh, already. You can see our templates. They're not great, right? So it's basically dudes with swords and shields and World War I rifles. So, uh, you know, defense isn't that great. But what they do get um, are these lovely, lovely bonuses here. An extra 15% defense and 10% attack. And uh, they have basically no supply needs. So if you come down here, 0.16, yeah, they basically have no supply needs. So uh, we can exist in the desert uh, pretty darn easily. All right, well, here it is, the thing we've been waiting for, the ultimatum from Italy. The Italians have requested that we place the entire state under their control for use as a staging area for their war against Ethiopia. Yeah, Mussolini, I don't think that's going to work for me. So uh, we could say there's no point in resisting and just end the game and go play something else, but it's not really why you guys are here. And just like that, Italy has declared war on us, so we're in it to win it now. So you're going to get this a few times. So the Ethiopians are going to keep asking for a non-aggression pack. I would recommend you go ahead and decline that um, for multiple reasons, but uh, not the least of which we have uh, designs on their territory as well. And we just don't like them that much. All right, so we're starting to uh, we're starting to get hit. Um, but as you can tell, even with our troops as bad as they are at the moment, uh, we're currently able to hold out. Okay, warrior tradition is complete, and so we just got three more uh, regular infantry to join the ranks, and we got a new template out of this. So we have the uh, we start out with the Koffer uh, Safari here, and you can see it's got uh, four battalions of regulars. Uh, these East African regulars are better. So if you choose this, not a bad thing. 10% recruitable pop is pretty awesome. Uh, however, I would recommend you go ahead and choose Strengthen the Regulars. Um, it's going to add units to our East African Regulars templates, uh, which is awesome. So give them more bite. And it's going to increase our stats, which these are very nice. 
And we do have a little bit more command power, so let's go ahead and grab Charismatic for our Sultan. Uh, it's going to increase our recovery rate. So we want these guys to recover as quickly as possible because uh, we don't have any other tiles for them to retreat to. So if their org um, gets too low, uh, they're just going to be obliterated and they won't be able to recover. So we don't want that. Uh, research, it's kind of whatever you think's best. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about the industry tree. We don't have any factories anyway. Um, I would highly recommend getting um, some better artillery. Uh, we don't even know what artillery is, so let's go ahead and research that first. And then we'll also be looking at how we can uh, figure out what a shovel is as well, so we can add to our entrenchment capacity. All right, we do have a little political power here. Um, so we can go ahead and see what we want to grab. Um, we should have done this a little bit earlier, but it's not been a big issue. Let's go ahead and grab a chief of the army. Uh, we have a two to choose from. Uh, we'll grab the army defense specialist. Not the greatest army experience gain, but that's fine. We're going to make use of that. Okay, we've strengthened the irregulars. Perfect. Um, so now we do have, uh, we've just added to their stats as well. So we are just stacking defense and offense bonuses on our regular infantry, which is pretty darn cool. So we can do a couple things here. We can continue down this tree here. We can choose the Sultanate of Aus's Finest, uh, which is again, we're just gonna continue to stack um, defense bonuses, which is very, very tempting. Uh, we could also go ahead and try to fix some of our political problems. We have 33% stability, uh, so that's that's not great, not great. Um, but what I would recommend uh, you do first is, of course, grab the Sultan of Aus's Finest. Um, that's going to give us a uh, division attack on core territory of 5% and uh, defense of 10%. Okay, support equipment's done here. Um, let's go ahead and grab Engineer Company. Uh, and f we're going to learn what uh, entrenching is. So uh, it will certainly be useful for the coming fight. All right, so Ethiopia has just capitulated to the Italians. Uh, so we are now officially on our own and surrounded. Okay, Sultan Aousa is complete here. Let's also go ahead and pick up political stability here. So the Italians just aren't attacking at all. Um, I don't know. They have com the AI has completely decided to <laughs> stop attacking. So... Um, sometimes that'll happen. Um, we could try to maybe make a push out. Um, there's only one uh, division in Afar here. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can maybe uh, inspire the AI to wake up a little bit. We're trading relatively well with the, uh, with the Italians here, but um, I don't know. Okay, well, we've pushed the Italians out. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and see about adjusting our lines a little bit here. I'd assume the Italian AI is going to wake up, but uh, let's just see if we can keep pushing them. Take back our homeland here. Now, we don't want to overextend ourselves too much initially here, um, but, you know, if the AI is just going to let me take this territory back, then I'm going to... Uh, make use of it. Yeah, we're doing reasonably well holding the capital here. Uh, I don't like us being spread out that far, and we're just getting bombed to oblivion here, and we have no air force of any kind, no air defense of any kind, but luckily our militia are pretty good at hiding. Okay, so they're starting to uh, pin us down a little bit here. I'm actually going to go ahead and pull these boys back. Well, it certainly woke up the Italian AI. Uh, we're going to go ahead and instead just uh, pull back entirely here. Well, they keep throwing themselves at our lines. Uh, they're going to constantly do that. They're going to constantly cycle charge you. Uh, the important thing is that your um, militia gets their uh, organization recovered back quickly. The Italians are just throwing men and material at us uh, with uh, not a whole lot of success. So don't worry. Uh, you're going to be under attack the entire time. Um, but... As long as you can keep your uh, recovery rate good uh, for your troops and keep them uh, entrenched here on the mountaintop, uh, the Italians are going to have a heck of a time pushing you off. Okay, we've utilized our strengths, um, so let's go ahead and go down and grab encouraged local arms production. Uh, this is going to give us two military factories, which we desperately need. And you can see... Uh, <laughs> 
You can see our troops uh, with our stats, they're rock solid. So uh, the Italians currently, even with their mighty air force that they have overhead, uh, they just can't break us. There's nothing they can do. Choose the Roars of Thunder. Uh, it's going to give us a bonus to our support artillery and anti-tank and uh, will allow us to then also change our template for our East African regulars. So very good stuff. You can see as the Italians cycle charge our units that it's been nothing but if helpful for us to uh, continue to increase our experience for all of our troops, most of them at seasoned now, and they're only going to get better uh, becoming veterans eventually. Okay, we've completed warfare from afar. Um, so now we did get a free upgrade to our East African regulars here. Um, it added support artillery and um, an artillery artillery battalion here on the front. So uh, it's brought these guys' stats up a fair amount. Uh, so not too bad, not too bad, all things considered. Okay, it's May of 38, and the Italians have currently lost 191,000 total. 179 of that is from us, the tiny Sultan of Aousa, and we have lost 6,000. Okay, so now that we do have some factories here, let's go ahead and trade one of those factories away for a little steel with the French. So it's February of 39, and the Italians aren't doing that well. Uh, yeah, so we've lost 6,000, which for a tiny nation uh, like Aousa, that's a significant loss, of course. But we've caused 424,000 casualties on the Italians. I'd say we're trading pretty well in combat. Okay, I'm gonna use what uh, manpower that we currently have and gonna recruit three more of our militia units. Uh, we can't train any more of our East African regulars, unfortunately, but uh, we can train these guys. Uh, it's gonna use up most of well, all of our manpower, but that's okay, we'll go ahead and mobilize more as we need it. I want 10 divisions for when uh, we join the war. Okay, well, uh, it's happened. So Italy has joined the German Reich. Uh, so they're probably gonna be calling Germany into the, our war here sooner than later. Okay, well, it is August of 39 and Germany has done its thing. So, yep, German Reich has declared war on Poland. So it's only a matter of time before they get pulled into our war. Okay, well, we do have our three extra divisions now. So let's see if maybe we can make a little moves here. I'm seeing pretty weak units uh, in our territory here. If we can grab uh, this supply hub and uh, work our way up north here as well, we would really put a bind on the Italians. Let's, see, let's do a little probing attack here. And we are starting to melt them. Excellent. Okay, great. Uh, unfortunately, this territory has flipped to Ethiopia, um, but uh, we've got eyes on that, and we'll hopefully be able to sort that out with Ethiopia here in the near future. Uh, can we join the Allies yet to a Church Hill? No, we cannot. It's okay. Soon. Soon. The Allies have asked if we would like to join. Uh, well, Churchill, yes, yes, that sounds great. We'll go ahead and join the Allies. Fantastic. And now that we are in the Allies, let's see if we can support our friends a little bit here uh, with some pinning attacks. Great. Uh, we're getting a little stretched here. Darn. Uh, we might get... Hopefully we get there in time. We do. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Just a little bit of support, and the it looks like the Indians are showing up, the British Raj. Uh, that's excellent. We need them. Perfect. Okay, so we've grabbed the port, um, so all of these units aren't going to have supply. And it looks like, yes, they are rebasing uh, fighters out of our airbase now, so that is good. There's no supply down here, so I want to try to rush uh, to uh, Somaliland here and grab that naval yard if I can. Unfortunately, our line is all sorts of messed up. So we're going to go ahead and draw some new lines here. Up north is a little stickier of a situation. So they've got the mountains here. And we have quite a few Italian divisions entrapped being destroyed here in the little pocket uh, in Bogadishu. And uh, start to deal with the Italian problem in the north. There's quite a few entrapped Italian divisions up here. Um, and well, it looks like a German medium panzer division, too. 
Interesting. Absolutely annihilating them with our <laughs> with our regulars. Well, I think they're going to fill this one. Uh, Italy can't really sustain these types of losses. Germany can, but Italy cannot. It is not going to matter, guys. It is not going to matter. That's a lot of entrapped divisions down here. All right, well, uh, we have sorted out the Italian problem in Ethiopia here. Uh, let's go ahead and check the stats. Uh, looks like our war was folded into the main war. So, um, let's see here. So, Italy has lost 1.2 million men already at the beginning of the war, and it's only April of 40. Uh, they've lost 715,000 men to the Sultanate of Aousa. <laughs> What about you? Uh, let's see. Hey, Churchill, do you guys have any trucks that you don't need? Guns? No? No? Trains? No? Okay. Thanks for all the stuff, Churchill. Well, we're kind of running out of things to do, so let's go ahead and grab what is rightfully ours. Uh, that's fine. That'll give us a, a bonus to deal with the Vichy French. And let's go ahead and retake our core state of French Somaliland. From the Vichy French line take 30 days. Okay, well, we do have our war goal for uh, against Vichy France, so let's go ahead and uh, get that war kicked off. They're almost immediately going to join the Axis, but that's fine. I think we should be able to crush them. Perfect. Okay, uh, we've grabbed French Somaliland, and it is a core territory, so there's not a lot of population here, but it's certainly more than we had before, so we can certainly use that. Um, now let's go ahead and help out the British, because they weren't expecting this, and we're going to move up to the Levant here and see if we can help them with the French. Yeah, I, I feel kind of bad. The uh, They didn't expect to go to war with the Vichy French anytime soon, so... Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, great. Well, we've gotten to Tel Aviv, so let's grab Jerusalem. Okay, so they can start basing their planes out of here again. Give us a little uh, support, which we need. Let's crush these units. Okay, uh, we've kicked out Vichy French from uh, Eastern Africa here, so let the Allies clean up all the mess here down <laughs> in Sub-Saharan Africa and uh, see if we can give the British any help here in North Africa to kick the Italians out. I might have inevitably like um, made the Italians slightly stronger in North Africa than they ordinarily would be by bringing the French into the war uh, this early, so it is what it is. Mistakes were made. But we're about to kick the Italians out of Tobruk, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, they are moving. Let's see if we can just get the Tripoli. I don't want to be overstretched. Wow, there's just nobody here. Uh, did they just leave? Oh, they just totally freaking left. That's amazing. Okay, we've got Tripoli. Let's see if we can grab uh, the rest of North Africa here from the French. I don't know if we can, but uh, we'll try. And hopefully you guys guard Tripoli, because I don't have the units to do that. Okay, we've got this supply hub, but it doesn't have uh, a rail line. And the AI is really dumb about this, so let's go ahead and build a rail line for them. I, t with our whole three factories that we have, I'm sure it's going to go well. Okay, we do have a little local supply now. Um, I don't care about that. Get to the port. Yeah, they're mounting a fair amount of troops now. Um, and walking around us, apparently. If I can encircle the port, that would be good. But they've got armor. I can't pierce the armor. So, problem. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this nonsense. We are not pushing very well in North Africa. I'm going to let the British deal with this. Uh, we are out of manpower yet again. So instead, we are going to move to Tunis here. Okay, let's give it a shot here. And our brave Ausans are on the march. Let's see if they can get naval landings. We don't have the manpower or the materials to delay this. Oh my god. All right. Okay, they have made landings here as well. So let's delay and pen. Excellent. Okay. All right. Perfect. We get to the port. We get to 
Cadena, let's see. Oh, Messina is wide open. Can I get there? Ah, dang it. Okay. Push through. We're just spinning our wheels here. Need to regroup. And hopefully our allies will actually bring some units here because they are mustering a tremendous amount of infantry. Again, the entire uh, <laughs> Axis army is here in Messina. Okay, so our troops currently aren't doing very well at all, actually. So, uh, well, there's a few things here. So they're not really meant to kind of handle prolonged combat like this. I mean, keep in mind the... The template's even updated. There's still only a 12 combat width. Uh, even on our really excellent, uh, where are they? Uh, East African Irregulars. Uh, they're only 19 combat width with some extra artillery. So, um, and right now we're facing a bunch of different access tanks um, and a ton of troops. So we're having a really hard time holding. Wow, it's like the entire Axis army is down here. <laughs> There's so many divisions! Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so Germany's just gone in on the Soviet Union. It's doing its thing. So, I suspect a lot of these forces are going to start to get pulled away. Yep, and they're already starting. Alright, let's pull out. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be fine. Oh boy. Alright, uh, Royal Navy, hopefully you guys give me some cover here. Let's see if we can do anything. I believe they have troops at Naples here, but we might be able to push in anyway. Okay, we're making landings. Great. Let's... And let's grab the airfield. Oh, we made it. Okay, we do have some allied air cover. Well, we did briefly. Let's see, can we push? Okay, great. We've got the uh, supply, head, uh, supply hub here at Foggia and kind of split the lines a little bit. That's good, that's good. And the allies are doing a good job of losing Sicily. And we're starting to get some more allied troops and that woke up the AI. Oh boy, uh, gosh, we need the manpower. <laughs> Gonna have to go to scraping the barrel. There is a lot of Axis troops here. Like a lot of Axis troops. Ah, oh man. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Ah, crap. I figured we were going to get overextended, and of course we did. They have so many troops here. It is incredible. Yeah, these guys are cut off. Um, don't know if... We just can't... We can't punch through. Yeah, they're just going to cycle charge this unit until it dies. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get the band power back. Um, eh, it looks like we've almost taken uh, Sicily back, which is cool. Ah, uh, they might be able to take Messina. Oh, this is really good. This is actually, this is excellent. Well, it looks like the, uh, yep, the UK is pushing uh, up the boot pretty effectively. Certainly helpful when you have a navy. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are encircled now. Uh, excellent. Okay. The fall of Italy is near. Ah, excellent. Okay, we got these guys encircled. Fantastic. That's going to be a lot of forces there. Ah, perfect. Alrighty, look at that. We are reclaiming our empire. The Sultanate of Aousa. Okay, it worked before. Let's see if we can do it again. Bringing freedom to Italia, we are indeed. All right. Cool, we've made landings again, so uh, let's go ahead and get all our boys over here. I'm going to grab this airfield. We grab the airfield. Excellent. All right, they're moving fighters in, bombers. Oh, it's so Jover now. Can we get there in time and help out the Brits? Uh, possibly. Benito Mussolini is deposed. They're about to have their civil war. And, yeah, it looks like uh, Rome's taken. Fantastic. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. That's a lot of forces they're not going to have anymore. Go, my... Go, boys, go! Crush them. Yeah, they invaded the wrong country back in 36. Okay, and there you go. And it looks like we did get the puppets, uh, the Italian puppet state. 
Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and transfer that territory. That's fine with me. Our old friends at uh, Reggio del Sul here. And I believe this, they are indeed. They're a puppet of the Sultanate of Ausa. Would you look at that? <sighs> it's glorious. What's our current world contribution here? Let's check that. Uh, so yeah, they are Italy as at 84% towards capitulation. And where is our contributions? We are at 11%. Not as much as I would have liked, but for a tiny nation like the Sultan of Ausa, I would say it's pretty good. Uh, keep bringing fresh divisions in. Come on, come on, come on. If we can get to Venice, be more better. Uh, even the Brazilians want a piece of action. Excellent. Liberation of Paris. The end is near. And we're about to take Venice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take Venice, take Venice. Excellent. Okay. I'm taking Venice. I like, I like where we are here currently. And it looks like the Soviet Union has <laughs> naval invaded as they do from the east here. So, yeah. Things aren't going well for the German Reich currently. Okay, about to link up the lines here, and we've done so. Excellent, excellent. You'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. Okay, well, a uh, little bad news. So, <laughs> uh, the war was being won. It was the end of 43, and Germany and Italy was on its knees. We had Italy as a puppet state. And we were doing well, considering we only had nine divisions. Problem was, uh, the game crashed. <laughs> I know, I've never heard of that ever happening in a Hoi game. So I went back to the autosave and uh, tried to load up. And for whatever reason, uh, it won't let me load the game uh, back. Uh, it uh, brings up the load screen, uh, but then it crashes almost immediately as soon as you get into it. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I think this is going to be where we're going to have to call it. Uh, I have no other way of loading back into that game. It is effectively dead. Uh, yeah, that's, that happens sometimes. It sucks, but, uh, that's okay. The war was going to be won. Ultimately, what we would have done is after that is to take on Ethiopia itself after it creates the African Union and unify the Horn of Africa, which is kind of interesting. So... If you guys like to see that, maybe a future playthrough of the Sultan of Ausa, let me know in the comments down below. But I think that's going to do it for me today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, taking the tiny nation uh, of Ausa into a, well, pretty sizable contributor to the Allied war efforts. So anyways, it was fun to play. Uh, not so much fun when the game broke, but uh, nevertheless, these things happen. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, I've been Greg the Gamer. I'll be back over here shortly with new Hoi content. But anyways, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll talk to you soon. Later.